we are going to do an experiment today. I am going to show you how to make air fryer tilapia fillets that are nice and crispy and flaky. The experiment part is I've never actually made them before. So I'm gonna give it a shot. And make sure you stay tuned because I promise you if it's a disaster, I will show you that too. Welcome to the Spicy Apron Cooking Show. My name is Heather and I am here to show you the easiest ways to get the best results in your kitchen. And today we are doing air fryer tilapia. Now, I have had an air fryer for a while and I will be the first to admit, I don't use it very much, but I will say when I use it, I love it. And it always makes me wonder, why the heck do I not use this thing more? So I'm using it today. You know, I focus a lot on comfort food and soul food. Uh, and sometimes you just need something a little bit healthier. So today we're going to do this fish. Now I did a lot of research on how to do it. So hopefully this is going to work. Now it's really easy, by the way. So I have in here, uh, the full recipe link is below. So click on that, it'll take you right to the recipe. But I have here uh, in this bowl, I have one cup of breadcrumbs and one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. Now I like Cajun because I love the flavor and the zip that it adds. If you have your favorite fish seasoning like Old Bay, feel free to use that. Now my air fryer basket, um, it's pretty big. It's a pretty good size. So mine will hold two full tilapia fillets. So that is what I am going to do. You don't want to crowd them uh, because from what I've read, it will steam it more than crisp it up. And I'm looking for some crunch with this. So all you do, and yes, I have washed my hands and I have rinsed these tilapia fillets. Um, and they're still a little bit damp though, because you want the seasonings to stick to it if you want that crispy crust. So season both sides and then shake off the excess. And I'm just gonna set it back on the plate and then we're gonna put it in the fryer basket in just a minute. Okay, so here is my fryer basket and all I'm gonna do is set it in and then stick it in my fryer. Oh, before I forget. So on the bottom, I have actually buttered my fryer basket. You can use spray nonstick um, like Pam or something like that. What I've noticed is that can discolor the basket. I'm not sure if that actually hurts it or not, but it doesn't look very pretty. So. I just use a little bit of butter or I'll wipe it with a little bit of olive oil. So the two tilapia fillets are in here. Now let's stick it in the air fryer at 400 degrees for about eight minutes. And then we're gonna flip it. Okay, so here's my air fryer. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in at 400 degrees for about eight minutes. If yours requires a preheat, per the manufacturer's instructions, do preheat it. Mine does not require that, so I'm just gonna put it in. Okay, I'm getting pretty excited about this. It actually smells really, really good. Those first eight minutes are almost up. I'm gonna do my best to pull it out um, so you can see it from the upper camera. It's a little hard with the way I have it set up, but I'll do my best because you're probably as curious as I am to see how it turns out. Again, I'm gonna pull it out and I am gonna to have to flip it over. Um, I do think in an air fryer, even though it's got the holes in the bottom of the basket, it still works better if you turn things over. Okay, the first part's done. Let's look at it. Ooh, that actually, that actually looks surprisingly good. Can you see it? Oh, hold on, let me see if I can lift it up. Okay, so that is after eight minutes and you guys, I've got to tell you, I actually think it might be done. So I'm going to try it. Um, I was going to say flip it over and do four more minutes, but let me set it down. Yeah, that's hot. Uh, let me set it down and get a fork and try it. All right, I'm going to see if it's crispy enough. I think it's done. Oh, it looks good. Okay, you guys, I think we're done. It is super flaky. Um, it looks crispy. Let me take a bite. If I need to put it back in, I will. You guys, it's really good. Like seriously, eight minutes. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm going to plate it. I didn't expect to plate it right now. Let me get a plate. And of course a lemon. All right, I'm going to get it out of here. Obviously this is the one that I did already bite into, but seriously, I think that's really crispy. And let me look at the backside. I'm going to turn it over. Okay. So the backside isn't quite crispy enough. Okay. Let's keep going with the experiment. I'm going to turn them over and I'm going to do them for one more minute and let's see what happens. 
Okay, I'm actually gonna do two minutes. Okay, it's just about to be done. I can't wait to see it. All right, let's check it out. Wow, okay. You guys, that really looks perfect. Uh, Plate it up and now I'm gonna see if it's overdone. I mean, it was really tender and flaky the last time, but it did lack a little bit of crunch. Oh, that just looks fabulous. I am so excited about this one. Okay, of course, we gotta kick it up a notch with just a little bit of lemon. I think I squirted that everywhere. Uh, get that seed out of there. And you guys, seriously, look at this. Okay, the big taste test. Let's try it. Oh, it sounds crunchy. I don't know if you could hear that. Mm-hmm. So that's perfect. It is crunchy on both sides. It's still flaky and tender. That little spritz of lemon kicked it up a notch. Um, it's delicious and honestly, it's healthy for you. I can't even believe that. Um, you know, when you're in the mood for something healthy, I am curious though, what do you guys serve with tilapia? Um, I tend to serve rice with it. I do make tilapia a fair amount. I just have never done it in the air fryer. Hands down, the easiest way to make it is in your air fryer. That's amazing. I love it. I'm a convert. I'm gonna keep eating. Thank you for watching the Spicy Apron Cooking Show and please comment below with more air fryer recipes you wanna see. I definitely need to put more out there.